Okay, ladies and gentlemen, a uh, second press conference, and again, I think uh, we should pay tribute to a, a wonderful fight and the winner of that fight, ladies and gentlemen, Mikey Garcia. Yeah. Um, we're going to go to the floor for questions. Yes, at the back. Mikey, uh, early in the fight, you were getting hit by that left post, but later in the fight, you started to put your right hand up, you made the adjustment to be defensive on that. Um, talk about the adjustments you made in the fight. Yeah, um, you know, Jesse's experience, he, he has a good left hook. We, uh, my dad and my brother, they warned me about it. You know, we worked on it early, you know, taking my time just to feel him out, feel the, the timing, the distance. Um, even later in, in, in the fight, you know, he was able to land maybe one or two here and there, but, you know, we practice on, on keeping my right hand up to protect ourselves against that left hook, and uh, it's a sneaky hook. Comes after a couple jabs, you know, he'll kind of be trouble with that hook. Um, it's one of his better punches, but uh, I was able to, like I said, make those adjustments because we practiced uh, in the ring, in the, in the gym. Mike, you said before the fight that the big question was to yourself, are you going to be able to be viable and a legitimate bona fide contender that can stay at welterweight and compete for the titles against the best guys? You went 12 rounds with Jesse Vargas. You won, I thought, pretty handily. What is your assessment of the answer to that question? Well, I mean, I think uh, I answered a lot of those doubts and questions uh, tonight. You know, we... Uh, Fought a tough, you know, opponent with Jesse. Jesse's a solid welterweight, you know, big and strong, and uh, has gone, you know, the distance with some of the very best in the division. And I mean, I, I kind of have to leave that up to you guys. What, I mean, what do you guys think? I think I did good. I think I showed, you know, I'm, I'm resilient. I'm strong. I can go the distance against a bigger man and still box effectively. And so, how do you think now that you had the fight with Errol? Obviously, did not go well. Had this fight went very well, I would say their talent level is like. You know, maybe Jesse's a notch below. So now you look ahead to Pacquiao, you know, somebody else in the weight class. Yeah, like, like I said, I think I performed very well, and I was able to overcome those size disadvantages early on to show that I can be a solid welterweight. You know, um, I already faced Daryl, and he's probably the best welterweight, and he was never able to hurt me. And, uh, you know, I think, I think I can really do something at, at welterweight. I think I can become a champion, you know, within a fight or two. I'm ready to challenge you know, for a world title, you know, and uh, we've been talking about Manny, maybe a rematch with Errol in, in the near future, so I think I'm, I'm ready to go ahead and take that step. Mikey, you, you mentioned uh, of options in the ring. Does that also include turning to Crawford also? Or sure, other look, look, with, with me, I'm ready to fight anybody. You know, if, if Terrence is available, we definitely like to get in, in, in the ring with him. I think uh, the bigger fights there, everybody would love to see me and Manny, mm -hmm. so that's the fight that I would uh, love to entertain. But um, I'm available when I'm going to fight anybody. I ain't going to run from anybody. I ain't going to just fight opponents. I want to fight the champions, and he's one of the champions also. Mikey, would you say that Manny Pacquiao is your number one option? And Eddie, I'd like to ask you, how viable is that now, given up tonight's result? Look, I, like I said, I'm, I'm ready to fight anybody. But the fight with Manny has been talked about for many years. You know, it's been brought up, you know, here and there. And I think uh, after tonight's performance, I think... They'll, they'll consider that a, a great matchup. I think the fans and all of you guys will consider that probably the number one fight for me. Um, I love that. I love the idea of fighting Manny. You know, and you know, I think I think it's it's the match, the perfect matchup for 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 my next fight. Uh, Eddie, Mikey, do you think your Eddie. past relationship um, with Top Rank and how that went would that be a problem in making the fight with Crawford? Do you think there'd be an issue? I you know I I'm just ready to get in the ring. And, I mean, it seems like you know. When the two both fighters want to get get in the ring, and you know the the promotions, the networks, everything is is able to work together. I think anything can happen. You know, sometimes we have to put aside you know differences in order for for the fans to enjoy the the, the the right fight. Eddie, can you answer that? How viable is a Pacquiao a Mikey Garcia fight for Saudi Arabia in the summer? That's um, what my attention is going to be turned to over the next couple of weeks. Is trying to put a deal together for Mikey that he's happy with to take that fight and, and to try and make sure that Manny Pacquiao's in for that fight. I think he's probably one of the best fights in boxing. Um, you know, Mikey made me chase him around for two years. We worked together for the first time. I feel like we've been, on, been out on our first date and I really enjoyed it. But, you know, he, he's, he didn't, we're not officially dating.